Now, I've hosted a few viewer tournaments back in my days myself, but today is a special one. Today is the 10th edition. And you know what I did? I combined all of the past nine into one map of lots of tomfoolery. I'm just gonna say this now. This is a fucking banger, so enjoy. <laughs> one. 20 fawn. Can you do some format? Oh, the music. I come every time. Don't forget to type you in chat. Oh, we got a lot of people. This is gonna be epic! Ooh. Sorry, I'm in a good mood today, so this is gonna be some fun commentary. Okay, I need to do one thing. Ah! There's no GPS! Get fucked! Ah, we got one. We got one, boys. We got one. I thought we would get way more people, but we got one. Alright, let me quickly show you guys the map in Cam 7. So this is center of the week of one. We have the jump into a bug slide, into an ice slide, into a dirt snap. Then we have this part into center of the week 2. On transitional, on transitional was the team of this. That's why this is absolute dog water. Then we have Saint of the Week 3 with the ice uphill with all the obstacles into the checkpoint. There's bumpers there and then into the downhill again. When you can murder some people as well. You see this woman? She's like clapping for you and then she's gonna get murdered. She's gonna get clapped. <laughs> then we have Saint of the Week 4 where the ice holes, you dodge them, into the bobsleigh and golo part. Okay. And we have Saint of the Week 5 where the zoopies into a big yump. Watch out because you can go flying out the edge here. Then we have Sin of the Week 6, Humfoolery. The start of this, Red Boosters into a Plastic Bounce, into a... <laughs> into a this thing, and then yeah... Hoo -hoo. And we have the backwards one with the only forwards part, which is the big tower of buggy slidey with also the tower of spectators. Isn't this fucking beautiful? And we have... Airwalk. I'm not telling you how to do this part. If you were in the stream when I built this, you will know. And then we have Sino of the Week 8, 08 map with the sausage forest into the dropper, which is cool, and then into the finish at the bottom of the dropper. All right, we have Pua going for the big yump. Oh no, he is clueless. Is he actually- wait, bro. He actually just jumped. You need the checkpoint, bro. Uh, here is a sign for PF. Okay, so yeah, have fun. Good luck. <laughs> Zweta Beat 69. What is that name, bro? Hey, Horn? Now? <laughs> Did you just call my map dog shit? That's a ban. Yeah, that's a ban. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be a long one, and we have a lot of people. 36! Holy shiza guacamole, dude. This is gonna be a long one. So strap in. Good luck. Hef Hest. Hef Hets. We go into the no KO. What the fuck they're cutting? Nah, I'm actually- Okay, well he failed, that's what you get, but how did I not see that? Why did you not warn me when I was building this? What? That's such an obvious cut! How did I not see that? You know what? That's on me. That's on me. If you- Yeah, that's on me. Currently, uh, pretty in the front here with Corny on board, but Naive is in first here. Ooh, Corny turtles. Does he unturtle? I do not think he does. That's gonna be a respawn and a half. Also, anyway, what do we got here? Let's hop in the back. Cooler Typer. He's a pretty cool typer indeed. Whoa, that was cool as well. That was crazy. In the membrane, bro. Insane. He's dead. You might want to respawn. Ooh, goes for the big yump. That might be a good strategy because you dodge the cacti, although. Map is about as good as your personality, says hats on hats 26. I do not know if that's a compliment or an insult, but I'll take it as a compliment. Thank you very much. Ooh, woo. We have ooh, woo. Pua in first here. He's horning, but I cannot hear the horn, unfortunately. Le let's see. Does he uh, not fail the bug slide tower of epicness? Because this is what cool kids do. He is looking pretty good. With which was expected from the lol player. Is he going to be able to do the end? Oh, he knows the strat. He knows the strat. Big yump into a bumper. Now this was not in a center of the week. I just had to go to max height again. And I was like, that's funny because there's an 08 downhill and a dropper, which, you know, you can't really start that from like five blocks up, you know what I'm saying? Straight into the sausage, like my grandmother. 
why, why do I say that? Let's hop with TTT Faith here through the sausages of the forest. Now, there's gonna be a lot of knockouts, but that's okay. Pua finishes with a 237. That is very fast. What the fuck? Flat Earth is, is at the start. Interesting. It is the no KO, so you do what you want. Hop on with my only and ever first Bad Chest YouTube member. He does not know what the strategy is. Oh, maybe he does now. He... It might still work. It does not. I'm just gonna say it. Some people have already figured it out. But you have to double respawn PF that checkpoint. Okay, so that would have been a lot of eliminations. But it was the no KO. I want to see how many people go for the cut. Let's see this. Hut off. <laughs> Bro, it's more people cutting the normal way, man. Really fucking mad. I don't see anyone bug sliding or ice sliding. That is honestly very unbad chest of you guys. Whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do to drive fast. Is anyone turtling here? I'm going in camp seven again. All right. All right. There's a turtler. Unlucky. There's a turtler. Unlucky. Dans la boue. That is in the mud in French. Flat Earth currently in first by a whopping five seconds. He is on his way to go into the hole though, but he does a 360 to dodge it. That is pretty cool. That is a cactus. Can we add a bonk sound effect to that? Thank you. Rainbow Balls Satel. That is a pretty cool clan tag. We have Satel in first. Now, uh, he is usually a guy with a custom horn, but unfortunately, we cannot... Yeah, he's horning, but we cannot hear it. All right, so let's see. How does he do this? Pretty clean, pretty clean. Let's hop in the back here. Lemmy B is still stuck in Sin of the Week 3. Get over it. I know it was a good one, but get over it. Goes for Le Strategy. We airwalk, but it's PF, no weighing. But uh, Sato is in the lead here by a whopping 13 seconds. Zweta Pete, 69 as well. <laughs> Let's see, Matt Hyper, oh, hits his, his sausage, his, hit, hits his sausage on the sausage. Does he make it to the checkpoint? Yes, he does. <laughs> no! Wait, he's out! Wait, it's upside down! I had no idea. It's upside down. <laughs> I didn't, I did not, oh no. Wait, how is it upside down? I had no clue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ain't no way, little bro. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Oh, no. Also, but uh, we have a few people. Oh, your rain as well. I feel so bad. He's stuck too. Honestly, a skill issue. We have Kizma. 10 seconds to finish in the dropper. Does he make it to the finish? He's in. I can't see. God fucking damn it. But he's in. 31st. Okay, only five eliminations. Two of people who turtled. Please never map again. <laughs> Everyone going for the cut. Nice, nice. I mean, at least there's a bug side. That's kind of cool. Goes for a big yump. It's the thing. Does he turtle? No, it does not because he goes in the water because I was nice. Cool typer already DNF'd. Unlucky. I uh, gotta unbind the dings, man. I gotta unbind it. Meanwhile, Wait, is he stuck? Bro, respawn. What the fuck are you cooking? Are you giving them a head start? What is happening? All right, well, we're just gonna leave Sato be there as a turtle. Maybe he wants to be a turtle. Who knows? Maybe he, he his pronouns are tur -tol. I respect that. As a human being in 2023, I respect that. Is he still... I don't understand. Can he not just respawn? I don't understand. Why? You know what? Fucking whatever, bro. If you want to be a turtle, you can be a turtle. Let's see, no one really zooping. Oh my, he's gonna miss the big yum, but he should survive this unless he turtles, which he does not. Wicked bug slide. Pua going into center of the week six. All right, all right. Is he in first? He is in first. Pua has a good chance to win this, but he's probably gonna cook some tomfoolery, so you never know with this guy. Corny, schlump. Oh, never mind. All doing the bug slide tower of epic bat chestness. Satel has finally decided to respawn. And he watches the GPS that is non-existent. Well, I don't know what he's cooking, but it's definitely raw. Jideon would be proud, I guess. But a Helldiver agent is very far back here. Very far back. Back in Santa of the Week 4. Maybe he has a chance. And he's so far be- Oh, hey there, son. Hey there, son. Hey. Their dad going for the all right. Oh, that's not enough speed. Oh, maybe it is actually. Oh, no Yeah, I can't I can't spectate poor. Why can I not spectate poor? What the fuck is happening? Wait, oh, they're finished 
Never mind. What is Satel doing? I mean, GG's only, I guess. I've been driving this whole round hearing the background. I'm finished with no CPs. Bro, fix your internet or something. What the fuck is happening? You are stationary and I can see it with my plain eyes. Even CT hits a few sausages. He's gonna have to hurry up. That respawn or the timeout is looking very scary there. He is actually in. Needs to finish though in 10 seconds through the dropper. Does he make it? It is the last part. Do the balls does he make it he makes it in the finish yes nice and he's last in as well very good clutch from Eben. Eben ct missed the shortcut he's going now though more misses it misses it almost again but he does make it who's in the front naive is in the front that is pretty naive of him ah yeah i'm so funny and corky like corny bars yeah i have them let's see here on the scene of the week three <laughs> naive is going oh my corny as well copying naive's lines i mean that was pretty bad chesting, if I'm being honest with you, my family. Am. Let's hop on with Schlump here. Does he turtle? Oh my, TT Faith just straight up missed. And he... I mean, these are just unlucky actions that have just occurred. What the fuck are... He's slowing down. I don't think that's gonna help you, but it helped, I guess. Well, corny and naive, both are obviously very correct players. Right, let, let's see them do the bat chest tower of doom. Do they both complete it? Naive going very close to the edge, but they both are bat chest players. Oh, naive a bit shaky there. Did he fall off? No, he does not. Gets the checkpoint. Look at that. This is so cool to see. Let's hop on with Eben here for the Sano of the week. Six start. Suck into the tunnel, bang out of the tunnel. Pretty clean there, actually. Let's hop on back with the top here, corny and naive. Oy. Corny and naive finishing, 223 and 226. Those are banger times. Benedict, not in the Batches community, so is Kisma. But uh, I mean, if you don't have a speed, you kind of have to do this. Eggy otherwise, though, zooms by like Tokyo drifting. But uh, Kisma's actually in the red here. So it looks like we're not going to have any knockouts from the timer. Schlump is uh, down in the dumps like a wumpus yeah benedict guy hopping in the dropper should be in here although suck okay 21st some people in the dropper he's stuck in the mud kisma makes it oh but he's out holy shit we have a good round here what he's dragon eating that was cool you know what you get three claps from me. Good effort, guys. Is everyone going for the cut now? Okay, no, we have... A, a, what? Jar... Jar S is Crabbit. Is this Jar Crab? Is currently in the red. Numba is red. You're gonna have to hurry up. Oh, actually, Pua is also in the red. So is Bad Hacks and Eggy. Guys, what doing? So, Sni Snive is entering Sena of the Week 5 here. Eggy into the cactuses, though. You have to dodge them. Bottomless. That is a... Oh! Oh! <laughs> double kill for the cactus there. That is a... Uh, yeah. That's like almost a UAV. We have uh, Eggy and Pua both. Oh, that's a big yump. He does not get... Oh, that's so bad. That's so incredibly bad. He missed the checkpoint by a pixel. That's that's put him in last. He has a chance. Naive here is almost finished with the map already. Through the blue balls, into the finish. 2.32, pretty good time. Sylvan as well. Cam... Okay, a little bit stuck, like a stepsister there, but he does make it. Where's Pua at? Okay, going for the PF bumper. Okay, Flat Earth as well. Where's Eggy at? Oh, Eggy's right behind Flat Earth. Racket Hacks also here. Benedict is not... He's... We're just gonna leave him beat into the dropper. Does he make it? He's actually last in, so it might be dangerous, actually, if he gets a bad dropper part here, which he is kind of slow right now. He's in the red. Is he out? He's out. No, he's last in. Pega and Racket Hacks barely miss out. That is so unlucky. Big Sag. GG. Good effort. Good effort, guys. That was, a, that was a close round. A lot of people got the cut pretty good here. Naive going for the big yump. Does he turtle? No, he does not. Into the water. Do we have any turtlers? Let's see. Oh, we have two people on the wall. <laughs> he's gonna get there. He got it. He got it. There's another one. Is he turtle? Again? Surely not. He makes it on his feet like a cat. Who were naive and corny? Three low players. Who would have thought they are all together, the boys in front here? <laughs>
into the cactus. That is a bonk sound effect as well. Oh my god, Pigeon Smuggler is floating up in the space craft. Yeah, Minecraft. All right, let's hop in the back here. We have Night Shrek. Uh, that's definitely not how you say his name, but he turtles right in front of the checkpoint. He is in the deep dip mud. No, Lamao, 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 Lameo754 is currently also in the red. And Banane, Banan, Banombre, Banondre, but. Whatever. Opting not to go for the buggy slidey. Maybe a smart decision. If even CT as well. Not going, but he falls off. Naive is going into the dropper. Let's see what happens to his car. Does he get stuck on the blue balls? That would be quite funny, but he gets fifth. Mateo stays. Oh, no. Okay. He. Oh, no. Just. I would take it safe. Oh, goes for the batch. Uh, yeah, the reactor is quite hard to control. Oh, my God. Oh, this is- oh, <laughs> just save it at this point. Okay, he makes it. Banondre fire is turtling into the dropper. He is last in, though, on the checkpoint split. He gets stuck on the blue balls, though. I think he could have- I should have- he should have probably not respawned that, because I think it would have fallen off. Gnut track. Yeah, uh, falling in. Banondre is respawned again, and he's actually last in Gnut track. And Banondre, Lamao, 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 and Mat Mateo and Eben CT are out. Tato, bro, are you good, Doug? Oh, we have Eggy going for the, the main shot, although that's not a very good line for the ice slide here. A lot of people in the mud, though, from trying the cut. We are actually now in the two elimination rounds. So from now on, two people get eliminated, and we see a corny guy, the red here, actually, which is uh, not very corny of him. Still in the red, although there's a lot of people together with him on Cine of the Week 3 going on the side. Seems to be the best strategy now that is dangerous because of that reason that is exactly what i was about to say nice nice naive is uh cruising and bruising and snoozing up in the front here we have pua on the center of the week six part pretty not so in the front here so maybe a little bit of danger for pua guy meanwhile danger is around the corner in fact it is not around the corner it is already past the corner and it's in the street now of bad hacks and ganuchik goes for the big yomp right before the checkpoint that is mud again. Naive is far ahead in the dropper. Is this a world record? Maybe. I don't think so, but it is a fast time for sure. Jaras is crab. Yes, going into the dropper as well. So is Elfara. So is oh, Corny respawned, I think. Plot Earth bounces on the... Oh, okay. Makes it though. To the trees. Is he stuck? No, he's not. Blue balls into the finish. Seventh, actually. So pretty close rounds here. The bad hacks and Gnuchtrick are a bit behind. There is a chance. If Maka, okay, yeah, it's all between Maka for you, Gnuchtrick, and Bad Hacks. Bad Hacks is almost out of the equation. Maka for you had to respawn, so now it is this guy's name. Oh, but he, he falls through that? That is so unlucky. That is so incredible. Maka for you jumps into the dropper. Oh, and Maka for you makes it. Actually, Maka for you got second in the dropper. I guess that, that makes sense why he's still in. Everyone getting the cut as per usual. Is anyone in the mud from the cut? Let's see. All right, three people. Surprisingly corny, actually. The bug slide guy, the lord player, and also a very good player at the game. He's gonna make it through the moving box. Sees a line, but he hits a tree. Pua almost turtling, dock into the balls. Marker for you kills a few families. That is also respectable. I do indeed enjoy manslaughter. We have Pigeon Smuggler and Sylvan in the number is red community. Actually, no, Elfara is now in the red community. Let's hop on with the frontier. Pua in the Batches community. Corny has to double respawn. The checkpoint is backwards. That is unlucky. Now, if he fails this, that could be mud for Corny here, but I don't see him failing this. So, uh, let's see. Elfara is going for the safe shot, but you can clearly see that going fast here or bug sliding is uh, the fastest way. But a Corny is still in the red here actually all right does he have a line he's slowing down massively seems to has a line but messes it up and hits a few sausages on the way there corny is in dead last hits a few sausages corny guy that's so far is out 
Wow. And corny. Last. And not even finished yet. That is surprising. That is unlucky. He messed up his uh, start and it went all downhill from there. He has the most earnings from Sin of the Weeks. You know what? Let's go in Camp 7 for the cut again. We we have Eggy and Maka for you are the Giga Chads. And three people mess up the cut. And you see, going safe probably pays off here. Big yump. Goes for the big yump. Does he hit a cactus? That is straight into a cactus. He does not turtle though. So that's good. Does he go for the big yump as well? Everyone's going for the big yump on the left here. Oh, Maka for you is deep in the mud. In Sin of the Week 4 still. While these people, the rest of the players are out of Sin of the Week 4. Naive is already bat chesting. Doc is a little bit less of a bat chesting. But he does make the Tower of Doom. TT Faith is also bat chesting. Pua is bat chesting. Eggy is about to be bat chesting. Let's see where's Maka for you. Oh my god, he's so far behind. Sylvan Oswell. Oswell, that is a name. He missed the checkpoint. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you cutting your corners so tight, man? Marker for you overtakes him, and now Sylvan is deep in the mud. Eggy saving the tower. Flat Earth makes it with a bad chest strategy. Naive with a 2 22 6. That is a very fast time. Uh, Pua is question marking mid round because he cannot. <laughs> Into the dropper. He's sixth. Okay, pigeon smuggler through the blue balls. Finishes as well. Eggy finishes. Cam is not. Okay, he's stuck. He can... Oh, no. He's... Oh, he makes it. He makes it. Oh, they're all in the dropper. Who finishes? There's one spot left. Cam! It's Cam who makes it. The good dropper part. We have one intended path left. And it appears to not pay off because he's in last. But I respect it. Giga Chad move. But uh, this is the last round with two eliminations here. So uh, pretty important round here. Pretty scary round. Jar is crab is turtling. Does he make it to the water? He does not. Pinches the Muggler is stuck. Has to respawn. A lot of people get mudded here in the center of the week. Three. Looks like I built it pretty well. All right. TTT Faith here in first. Never mind. Cam overtakes. Is zooming into the center of the week. Five. Pua as well. Flat Earth as well. Naive as well. Doc is almost there. Eggy's almost there. Jarasi Crab is in the middle of center of the week. Four. And Pigeon Smuggler is deep in the mud just now going into center of the week. Four. Anything can happen. Happen, although rounds have been pretty close, so uh, you know, you never know. Pua does a big yump into a turtle, not very smart. See this bat chesting? Can I get a bat chesting in real life right now? You should be shaking your head with your tongue out with glasses, sunglasses specifically, because this is what I call bat chest. Eggy is also bat chesting but falls off, plus ratio, plus el bozo. Jar crab has reactor up for some reason. What the fuck happened there? It gets reactor down now but falls off. I think you need to save that for your hardly. I think we already have to say goodbye to Pigeon Smuggler, but um, I respect it. I love the name as well. So, um, yeah. Naive is also going into the dropper. This is dangerous for Naive. Very dangerous. Is he gonna make it? Naive is a contender for the win. He makes it though. And Jara's Crash Episode makes it as well, which means Doc is out. And of, of course, Pigeon Smuggler. One player will be eliminated in the next round here. Top seven. And we still have Giga Chad. Eggy. He got Eggy. Eggy Chad going for the intended route. And look, it pays off because Yarasi Krabit has failed the cut. Eggy in the center of the week three as well. Okay, Jar asked Vagina. Yeah, Vagina. Currently, number is red. Oh, and he's stuck in between the moving blocks. That is unlucky. So he's a bit behind. But Eggy turtles and he is behind Jar Yusek Krab now. But uh, Eggy is in last now. Uh, we don't like to see this because he is a Eggy Chad. And we want him to stay in because he is the last soldier of the intended path. Does he go for the big yump? A little bit of a big yump, a small yump. Pua goes for a big yump, maybe? No, he keeps grip. TT Faith as well. Cam goes for a little bit of an outside line with a drift. Eggy and Yarisi Crab are battling it out in the end here. He gets a zoop though, so might catch up a little bit to Eggy, although has to slow down a lot because he might fly off the platform. But he knows, he knows. Maybe he has made the make, made the made the made the make, made the make mistake before. Now it's gonna come down to this because if you do this bad chest, which Eggy does, this is gonna gain a lot. Is he bad chesting? He is bad chesting as well. We have a battle on our hands here. Everyone else is going already into the scene of the week 7 soon. Or 8, I mean. Makes the checkpoint. Eggy makes the checkpoint. A little bit behind. But um, honestly, anything can happen in this end here. Because it is fully luck-based. Honestly. Oh, wait. Flat... <gasps> 
Flat Earth is dead. Naive as well? Oh, no way. Can he save the turtle? That should be savable, surely. Two eliminations because of timer. Because they are dead turtle. There is no way. <laughs> Eggy dies. He should make it because they are both struggling. <laughs> oh, no. Eggy makes it, but I mean, does it matter? I did not expect this in the top seven. Oh no, Naive and Flat Earth. Two contenders for the win as well. I think Naive's turtle is savable. I don't know about Flat Earth, but this looks, yes? Oh, it's so close. He needs to do it soon, though, because it's 20 seconds. I think he gives up, though. Yeah, save it, little bro. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did not know this was a thing in my map. Um, This is a complete accident. I will fix it in the future, because surely we will be playing this map again. Two eliminations, and there should only be one. That is very surprising this late on. We have the top five, and Eggy is still in. Eggy got saved by that. That is a bad bug side. A respawns. I do not know if that's the strat but he goes intended path again despite failing the intended way that is a giga chad move right there eggy is now just going into the center of the week three even had to wait for the cycle at the start so and hits the and he's oh my god he didn't die but he is uh very deep in the mud fell in a deep mud pool you could say not just like a little puddle of mud he just straight up fell in a pool of mud and he is currently trying to get out but it's like quicksand he cannot get out this is quicksand mud that eggy is in let's see if he can get out i actually studied this in school i had to do a presentation of how to get out of quicksand in like a dangerous situation you actually have to grab a stick and like put it behind you and then lay on top of it like you have to lay down in the quicksand it might look scary and then you have to get up and then like use the stick and then push yourself out yeah i don't know why i know that but uh let's see can he do it maybe he can use a cactus or something although they are far ahead of eggy although sure fit okay wait eggy's close now eggy is close but uh, we have cam pua and oh faith already finished with a 222 faith has been popping times here might as well have a chance to win here cam and pua are gonna oh pua died but i don't think it matters he has plenty of time to finish it is a battle between eggy and jarasi krabit does he die here no he does not no dead turtle in sight goes for a wall strat oh what a strategy and that should be gg stays in eggy no our giga chad is out we all have cut us now everyone is a cutter everyone is pretty close to each other oh actually tt faith cam going into center of the week four so is poor so is jarasi crab and tt faith soon as well he is 14 seconds behind look at them sliding up the spiral everyone is a bat chest gamer we have tt faith entering as well but he's also a bat chest gamer so shouldn't lose too much but uh, anything can happen you can respawn and then TT Faith is right here. Pua in the dropper. Cam in the dropper finished. Is Pua finishing? Yes, he is. Jarasi Crab into the dropper as well. And that is looking like a GG, but well played to TT Faith. But we have the top three now of the Seno of the week. Let's see who gets it the best in Cam 7. All get it very similar. Pua has a very good cut though. He is a bug slide master because, uh, yes, Jarasi Crab going for the wicked 360. Very good strategy actually pretty safe does not risk turtling is a bit slower but uh safing might be a good strategy cam and pua are in the front here both hit the sign cam and the red one green is for pua oh cam might be stuck here looks like ah uh, he can save that yeah you can drive backwards on this but uh wow he is this is a big slowdown you cannot try oh my god this is a very slow center of the week three part we have people cheering for pua here pua has actually never won a sin of the week surprisingly mostly because of his tomfoolery he's he's not tomfoolerying in the prestigious 10th sin of the week looks like he's gonna make it into the final yarasi krabit also bat chesting so is cam yarasi krab is into oh pua had to respawn all right gonna bounce 
bounce. Oh, that was that's dangerous, but uh, it doesn't make it into the dropper. So does Yarasi Crab, and Cam is pretty close. If someone fails the dropper, which it does not look like it. Oh my, very dude, good rounds here. GG to Cam, very well played. Who is going to get the winner spot in this sin of the week? Number ten, maybe the most prestigious one of them all. Pua with a very good cut, obviously. Holy shit, that is a good cut. That is going to get him a very big lead from the start here. But obviously, we see the map. We have seen the map. Anything can happen. Does he turtle? No, he does not. Where's Pua at? Hitting the sign. You're not supposed to go there. It says on the sign. Listen to the sign, Pua. Jar is cut. I bro, we spawn. Oh no. Okay, well. Oh no, not again. That is bad. That is very bad for Yarasi Krabit. Um, what the fuck is Pua doing? That was wicked. Yo, I mean, I respect it for the fans doing some tricksters. But he is going into center of the week 5. Meanwhile, Yarasi Krabit is going into center of the week 4. So a very big lead for Pua here. If he saves this, he should have it. He might get his first win here. That is... <coughs> The caster is dying, but it does not stop Pua. Meanwhile, Pua is bat chesting. Pua chest? Pua chest? Yeah, I just made that up. Can I get a like and subscribe? Pua into the bumper, airwalk, PF strat, lol, to the cakes. Actually, there is a part of the birthday one here. The cakes as scenery here. Pua is just so far ahead. Unless he dead turtles in the checkpoint, which he does not. Through the dropper. He dies, respawns, oh, stress kicks in maybe for Pua, don't die again, Chara <gasps> he dies again, Pua, might wanna hurry up, don't die again, bro, oh, he dies again, no way this is happening, no way this is happening, Pua's stuck, Charasi Cabot, no way, no fucking way, Pua, the throw of the century, wait, wait, Pua goes though, what the fuck is that round? 0.3 difference. Oh my god. Pua almost with the throw of the century. But he does still win. Pua, what the fuck are you kicking, dude? What a final. Bro was like, yeah, let me do Yeah, just making it exciting. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I know damn well his heart is racing there. On a three-minute map, that is never the final that I expected. Chat goes wild with the sound effects. A multi-pass with the follow. That is, uh, that is one of the sin of the weeks ever. Uh, like and subscribe. That's all I have to say. Ooh -woo!